That's a great first raid, I'd say. Alright, what else do we have? Take this. Okay. Um, I kind of... I kind of want to run woods again. Iskra's Amelia Rise. We can find all this stuff. All right, daytime this time. Uh, similar spawn. Wait, the same spawn? It's the same spawn. It's literally the same spawn. Let's check our diving board here. Nothing, okay. Nothing because I spawned here. Alright, we don't want to fight those scabs early. Draw a ton of attention to us. I don't think they're even there yet. So, for uh, for those that don't know how scabs work, uh, right now, this could change at any point, but how scabs have worked probably for the last two wipes, is uh, scabs don't spawn in right away. Not always. Um... There's a couple of hypotheses, but it's nearly impossible to prove into, unless you have like some sort of cheats where you can see who's on the map. But uh, working theories are basically scabs will spawn immediately if there are very few PMCs on the raid or you're the only PMC in the raid. Um, otherwise, they will take a minute or two to spawn. Sometimes they spawn within like 30, 30, 45 seconds, but for the most part, they take a minute. And then, um, scabs will also start to, like, kind of charge you if you're the last PMC on, in the raid or, you know, one of them. Oh my god, this is actually kind of crazy. Uh, okay, so that's good. We need to eat this. The benefits of games like this is the lack of data mining abilities. Um, true. That's why, I guess that's part of why they have their own launcher. But at the same time, they, people data mine the hell out of this game. Iskra. Okay, that's a win. We need to survive. That wasn't running. Oh, that's a... A nice pickup too. Uh, you also have to deal with the fact that sometimes they just spawn. <laughs> sometimes they just come in and they don't really care. I don't think I want. I actually, that's not a bad. We can run night raids with this. Did I hit this already? That's what I just hit, right? All right, we gotta listen. People can be here very soon. I don't think I need that. Duct tape is not bad. Just... Or the propane. Propane's kinda worth it, but... I'd rather keep what we have. I don't wanna be too overweight, either. I think we try to get out. A few things still outside of the knowledge of the consumer. Oh yeah, for sure. Most definitely. Um, one thing about BSG... Oh, shit. One thing about BSG is they do... They're very good at keeping a lot of their information secure. Their own information. I don't know about player information. I have no confirmation of that. 
but they're pretty good about keeping their own information pretty secure. So there are things in the game that are that are data mined all the time, but most th this game has a PSG has a pretty good track record of if something's left in the game to be data mined, it usually is just something that was there. It's not really something that will either people already know about it and are like, oh yeah, that's coming soon. Whatever. We already we put the framework, I guess, there, but it's not like built at all. Or it's something that's just there and nobody they're, they're like, no, that's not being added. That was just something somebody was playing with. But I also think that they're very good at having two completely different instances of their build, uh, of their builds in general, of like what they're working on is totally separate from what they're actually releasing. Now, I don't know if that's changed with their most recent change to uh, the newest Unity, like 2019. I think it's 2019. Um, or if that is exactly the same. Then again, I don't think this community is definitely is is one of those communities that cares to data mine too much. Because I guess what what you're talking about in chat is basically the info you glean is not really super useful all the time. It's just a bunch of well, here's a bunch of stat numbers. What does it mean? What do the numbers mean, Mason? It means nothing. Or, like I said before, the information that is found that's not in the game yet, people already know is going to be in the game eventually, so it's nothing really newsworthy. The problem is, the biggest problem with this game is they're, the anti-cheat they use is just, it's just, there's just no reason to respect it. Because, like... I definitely commend BSG and Nikita for fighting fighting the, the good fight against cheaters and stuff like that. But you can only fight so hard when your tools of, and your instruments of fighting are trash. Because from what I understand is cheats are extremely easy to make for both battle eye and easy anti-cheat games. Because evidently... Battle Eye is like the best one you can have without having a root kit for the for the anti-cheat, but you do still have to configure it properly. And I think BSG has it as configured as they possibly can. So, like I said, unless you have a root kit, these games are always going to have cheaters. Like, and I personally do believe that this game does not have any more cheaters than, I mean, you name the game. You name the competitive game. I just think that it hurts more to have people cheat against you because you lose more than your, just your time. Well, I would say you lose, you lose your time in this too, but you lose a lot more time possibly. Because like all this loot is just time for the most part. Like I can get all this loot, but the amount of time it's going to take to get that loot is seemingly unknown sometimes. Whereas like... If you're in Call of Duty, for instance, you might lose time because you didn't get the XP you probably could have if there's a cheater in your lobby. But, I mean, that just takes a game and a half to kind of get that back, right? Or you just miss one game. One game of XP. This this hits a little bit different. I want to go this way. The Uset Camp is a possible go-to for Iskras, but we've got, I think, more than enough stuff here. Root kits. Big Pharma kicking the little guy again. Big Pharma? Not like... <laughs> Not like a root canal. Wait, what? Wait, what would a root kit be... What would a root kit be in pharmaceutical terms? I'm trying to get the, the joke. Are we talking about a root canal? What are we talking about here? Beet roots? Beets, bears, Battlestar Galactica? Bears, beets? I think I got that backwards. Bears, beets, Battlestar Galactica? 
Oh, pharma. That was it was multi-layered. I understand. It was spelled with an F, not a PH. I was, it was multi-layered. Big pharma is the joke for the pharmaceutical industry, but he spelt it with an F, which is for farms and crops. I get it. Layers, baby. You gotta understand, I'm kind of stupid though. So layers don't always work on me. Health level one. Bears, beats, Battlestar Galactica. I've also been up all morning. I got up at like midnight, guys. It's, it's almost 8 a.m. I don't know why I did that. But I did that. And I don't feel super great about it. I kind of feel kind of ill. And not like licensed to ill. Beastie Boys. Come on, now it's time to get ill. Master P coming at you. Three, two, four. You'll get slapped. I need a ZB14 key. The Illmatic. Fantasmic. Orgasmic. Because listen all now. It's time to wow. License sale was good. I don't know if it's one of their best, but it was good. Kind of want to go down there. Kind of don't. I'd like to kill two more scavs. Hello, scavs. I'd love like a tier four armor too. Is that asking too much? Am I being picky? see any scavs here. It's a bush, right? Yeah. Hello, Quirky. Been all over the news, so that's when those are... It's been all over the news. I don't listen to the news for the most part. The only news I've read recently, and I, I'm pretty, I keep up kind of okay with it, is uh, Ukraine. I did read about Sarah Palin getting mollywopped in the primaries, special election. Music grapevine kind of news. Yeah, not a, I don't have a whole lot of hip-hop friends. Well, we don't talk about hip-hop too much. I don't have a ton of hip-hop friends, unfortunately. The only music friends I usually I keep up with, because I don't really talk to too many people, to be honest. The only the only music friends I keep up with are all my metalheads. But I've I, I, I listen to a lot of hip-hop in my day. Like all my gym, all my gym bros, I don't actually know what my gym bros listen to. It's probably, they probably are metalheads, but only in the gym. I'm a metalhead 24 seven, but I like, I just like music. I listen to it. I listen to a lot of different stuff. <sighs> I still put, uh, I still put some of, uh, Young Sinatra's old stuff back on. The boom back back harder than boom bat back harder than ever. Yeah, that's his that's his thing, huh? Loves talking about the boom bat. I didn't even know that was a thing until I heard him. I was like, I was like, well, the way you describe it sounds like I've known what it was my whole life. I've never heard it referred to as the boom bat. But it might be a Baltimore thing. Not sure. 
Uh, interesting. Very interesting. All right. Where are we? TKM FMJ. How, uh, how much time? 14 minutes. All right. Let's go see if we can find us an Asa. And then, and then, and then, and then. Where, where else are we supposed to loot? We can loot the filing cabinets. First scav runs for a scav's gonna be kind of weak. That's HP ammo, GPT. I could be picking this stuff up, but we're just on our scav, so who cares? Let me just hit the button. I'm trying to see if they can spawn raiders. I may go over there and hang out with them. We'll see. It's not bad. Bolts are pretty good. Bolts and nuts. Ooh, toilet paper's actually good. We need toothpaste. Is that Amelia? It's Rye. Okay. So, checkpoint fence we can head over to. We can check the supply crate in here. Yeah, I need packs and I need all kinds of stuff for the stash upgrades. Stash upgrades, like I said, are are gonna be a side quest, but I think at least the first two are doable. Tashanka? Take that. The lighting, weird lighting glitch. Oh, hello. Thought I heard somebody. Scabs being here is a good sign. Aren't there... Aren't there things in here? Oh, here we go. I want to hit all these uh, filing cabinets, see if we can get some flash drives. A stash, I mean, a SAS will work too. Uh, filing cabinets are good for this challenge because there should be a lot of stuff here that we can sell to Peacekeeper. Uh, don't need those. Probably get rid of a mag or two as well. Maps, I think those are good. Damaged hard drive. Those are good to have because they trade for umps. Yeah, screw it. Oh, I forgot there was a computer in here. GPU, come on, GPU. CPU. HDD. Cheeky breaky. I don't need that. I might need that. As soon as I drop it, I know I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna get shot in the leg. Ooh, eagle gunpowder? You're actually killing me with this. For the most part, we don't need ammo, but again, you never know. Anything worth rubles and not dollars, we can give up. 
or trades. I don't know all the trades. I know a lot of them, though. This guy came all the way up in here, huh? That's not terrible. Ooh, that's not bad, though. Uh, we'll give up one of those. 12 gauge adapter. 12 gauge choke adapter. For what? Is that for the Saiga? Dark Barigum. Bobo Babum. SKS, though? SKS is pretty good. We'll take that. That's a, ooh, a tiny win. There's a win, though. Eight minutes. We do have to move. I don't need to roll all the way down this. Nippers... Nippers are actually pretty solid. Uh, we can get rid of that. Um, because, considering this challenge, uh, Nippers will trade for, I think two of them trade for a CMS. Kriken's also not bad, but we gotta collect a lot of those. Okay. Um, do I have heating pipe? Checkpoint fence, Gavlands, Hermetic Depot. No, I think we got a... Opachki. Not a ton of time. Let me follow this guy in. Who's talking? Oh, he, he heard those shots. He's like, let me at him. Excuse me. Sir? That's rude. I think he's, I think he's more, I think he's less let me at him and more kind of afraid. Medical tools aren't bad. Uh, medical. Who are you mad at? Who are you mad at, brother? Talk to me. All right, medical stuff. Uh, saline solution isn't terrible. I don't, I don't know. We need more. Let's take that. I think those are, I think it's a better barter anyway. I gotta switch my brain. When doing these challenge runs. Oh, somebody hit that. They didn't hit the filing cabinets? Or they did? No, I don't think they did. I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, I think we go to the third floor on the other other building, and then we bounce. The song, uh, Pressure, was it Pressure? I think it's called 
pressure is pretty good. But that's from an earlier album, isn't it? This all hit. Uh, rear sight for the HK. G36. No thanks. I'm gonna get sniped right here. Ah, oh, that'll do. Queen? I didn't say under pressure. That's queen. PRS? Nope. RK5? Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, duffel bag. Ooh, that's... Not the worst thing. the heck it wouldn't grab it I don't know why I think those were celebratory so we we should be safe what is this for? Uh, you think of war? Yeah, I don't. I don't keep up with too much current hip hop. Most of it's pretty bad, but some of it's pretty good. It seems like there's a few artists near the top that still keep it pretty okay. But there's a lot of bad stuff out there. MF Doom. It's a huge MF Doom mural by my by where I live. Like massive. Pretty sick. All right. That's a win too. That's also a win. I think that's that's a pretty good first episode, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this and you've watched it, whether you watched it live or you watched it on YouTube, um, I'd say we had some pretty pretty good ones. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.